Hi guys, welcome. In this video, I'll show you how can start a process schedule on your computer, but without having the need to connect to orchestrator, let's say weekly or daily, but without having the orchestrator needed. So for this case, I'm going to consider a process. I have here a browsers, uh, which does actually very little things. Uh, it will open Google. It will type weather. It will type the enter key, get the temperature. It will close the tab and display the message on the screen. And this robot, I have already published here on my assistant. As you can see here, I have browsers and I don't have my connected assistant connected. It says not connected to orchestrator and you can see also here. So how I can schedule this process daily or weekly? Well, there are two methods how you can start a process in the UiPad robot and let me show you what are those. You can start a robot that is installed on your computer locally, like the one which I have shown you here. Uh, by this command line, UiPad robot execute and gonna specify the process name. Also, if you want to run in a certain folder, you can do that or by uh, specifying some arguments to the process itself in case you want to be configurable. And the second method, when you don't have the process installed, you can run it by using the project.json or the main.xaml file or by including the nugget package. Well, I'm gonna show you just two examples by running the robot that is installed and process by file. So how we can do that? Well, in order to get that UiPath robot, you need to see where's the path that the UiPath Studio is installed on your computer. So the way how you see that, I'm gonna right click here and then right click on the UiPath Studio and then set here properties. Now that will open the UiPath Studio properties and here there is the path. Under the general, there is the location where I'm gonna select all and copy. And then I'm gonna just uh, open a Windows run, just to open this run. Uh, I'm gonna hit paste, and this will open the Windows Explorer in this path. That's my current version, which I have installed, which is 20.10.6. Hit okay. And I'm just gonna close this property because I don't need it. So this is my local folder of the UiPath Studio install of the community version. Now, please keep in mind that uh, if you have an enterprise, this will be in the C, program files, uh, and UiPath. In the community, it's changing a lot of time. Every time when you have an update, this path, it will be uh, changed. So this is one thing which you need to consider when you're doing this type of migration. So how do you find the UiPath robot? Well, I'm gonna just press UI, R, and that's the UiPath robot that exists. So this is the file which I have shown you in the previous slide. Now, in order to execute something from here, you can either open a command line by using copy, and then I'm gonna just press Windows R, set CMD, hit enter, and then drag and drop here, and let's type CD, hit a space, then the one double quotation mark, hit Control V for paste, because I want to paste the path, close this path, and then hit enter. And you should have here uh, the path. Now, in case this one it's D or something, you need to specify C and then hit another enter. So this is one way. Well, I'm gonna close this. And another option which I want to show you and is the one which I use it very often. If you're just gonna right click, I have here a few extensions enable. But if you're gonna press shift, in this case it's my left shift, I'm keeping pressed. And I will right click. I have another option which is open PowerShell window here. Now this is a very powerful technique uh, to open a terminal window in the current folder. So hit OK. And then it will open uh, a PowerShell, which is very similar with the one which we have seen previously, but is more powerful. So how we execute here? Well, I'm gonna say UI and robot. By the way, um, if you're gonna say UI R and you're gonna press tab, then it will list all the programs that it start with UI R. I have this UiPath robot, and if I'm gonna press another tab, I have this file, which you can see here, and only these two. So I'm gonna stick with UiPath robot. Now this one, it will work with the exe and without exe. So uh, for the simplicity, I'm gonna keep the exe. And if I remember uh, the path, I'm gonna say execute, and then uh, that should be the process. And in my case, the process name, it's named browsers. Now also you can see this process name here as being browsers, so let's minimize. I'm gonna say browsers and press enter. Okay, so I have a spelling, browsers. And now the process is starting on the other screen. It enters on Google. 
it gets the weather and this message box is from the other screen. So there are four degrees Celsius now and it's quite cold. Great, so this is how you start the process using this execute. Now the other one which I have shown you is by using this path. So you can say, uh, I'm gonna use UIR, UiPath robot and then execute. And then instead of the process, I'm gonna say file. So to the file, I have multiple options. I can say either by the nugget package or by the main file or by project.json. So the one which I am gonna use as an example, I'm gonna right click, open project folder. This will open the project folder from here. I'm gonna just copy the path, copy, close this one because I don't need it. And again, open this double quotation marks. I'm gonna hit control V and then hit another slash because I have two options. I can either specify the project.json and the main.x file. So this one I'm gonna choose uh, project.json and then hit enter. And this should uh, have the same behavior. Uh, it should open um, Internet Explorer, just type in weather, enter, and then uh, the message box is on the other screen. So hit OK. Great. So now we have these two options, how we can start a robot. And let's see how we can schedule the real process. So to do that, I'm going to use a feature that is used task scheduler. So I'm going to press Windows and hit task scheduler. Actually, I have just typed task and I'm going to select task scheduler and that should open this window. So um, here I'm going to maximize this and I have already some tasks which they are installed on your computer. All I need to do is to add another task as being a trigger. So I'm going to just say create basic task and let's give this task a name. So I'm going to say just get temperature robot uh, something and to the description you can say anything which fits for your need uh, so I'm gonna just leave it blank hit next and then I need to specify a trigger when do I need to have this executed uh, robot I can use daily weekly monthly or when the computer starts now triggers are very complex you can specify a specific event I will probably need to go in another video with the triggering for this case, I'm just going to consider the time trigger. So uh, let's say I would like to execute this daily. I'm going to go next. Then I need to specify when it should be this date. So right now it's 10.03. Let's say I would like to run this process at 10.05. Hit next. And then what's the action which I want to do it? I want to start a program, which is exactly what I'll do. So what's the program and script? And then the things start to go uh, smoothly. I need to specify this path, first of all. So I'm gonna select here with the left mouse keeping open, right click to copy in the clipboard and I'm gonna hit paste and then give another slash for the UiPath robot. I'm gonna select this, right click and hit paste. So that's the full path of the UiPath robot. Then to the arguments, you need to specify uh, these arguments. So uh, if I'm gonna want to execute by the process name, I'm gonna select this, right click and hit paste. And then next, and let's press finish. So now I have uh, this task, which is uh, added here, and it should be executed in two minutes. Now I want to show you also something. If you're gonna double click on it, it will open the properties windows. And there are a couple of properties that you can change. You can change what's the user that is logged in. Uh, in my case, it's called Lenovo. I don't want to uh, change that, but you can actually start a process for another user. Uh, in case you have on the same computer, multiple users connected. Also to triggers, we have one single trigger, which is daily. And I can add multiple triggers. For instance, if I would like to be on a weekly, but also on daily, I can have multiple triggers here. And let's wait until this one needs to be triggered. Okay, so the UiPath robot is starting, it's like the weather, and then the message box, it's on the other screen. Great, so going back to our properties window, uh, you can specify multiple triggers for the same robot and multiple actions. Now, action I recommend to leave it just one. Uh, you can specify multiple triggers, you can also specify condition, only if the computer is idle for a couple of minutes when the resources are not so used. Now, there are many settings which you can change here. 
but for this task I think we should be pretty happy. Great, so this is a way how you can run a process using the task scheduler. And by the way, you can choose uh, this method or the other method also. For this example, we have just considered uh, the one which we have a process which is installed on your computer. Well, guys, that was for today and I hope uh, this video was helpful. Now, if you did enjoy, hit the like button. That one, it gives me a lot of motivation to continue to make these videos. And if you had a troubleshooting of doing that, hit in the YouTube comment section. I'm Daniel and I catch you next time. Bye.